The thylakoid membranes contain specialized molecules that work together to perform the light reactions. Light is absorbed by protein pigment complexes called photosystems. There are two photosystems, photosystem one and photosystem two. The photosystems transform light energy to chemical energy by exciting and then shuttling electrons from molecule to molecule in a chain-like fashion on the thylakoid membrane. This process is called an electron transport chain. Let's take a closer look to see how this process works. First, photons of light hit chlorophyll, a light-absorbing pigment in photosystem two. Electrons in the chlorophyll are excited to a higher energy level. The excited electrons are passed to an electron carrier. Meanwhile, water splits and releases electrons. These electrons replace those lost at photosystem two. The byproduct of this reaction is oxygen, which is eventually released into the air. The other products are protons, or hydrogen ions, which are released into the inside of the thylakoid, or lumen. The excited electrons move to the cytochrome complex. Some of the energy from the electrons is used by the cytochrome complex to transport additional protons into the lumen. The second electron carrier, a protein inside the lumen, receives the electrons and passes them to photosystem one. These electrons have now lost most of the energy they gained from light in photosystem two. Photons of light hit chlorophyll in photosystem one and excite the electrons again. The electrons are then passed to the third electron carrier. Finally, these electrons are either recycled or they interact with an enzyme and NADP+, the final electron acceptor of the light reactions, to form NADPH. Some of the energy from light is now stored in the reduced molecule NADPH. Some of the energy released from the transfer of electrons established a proton gradient across the thylakoid membrane. Protons that accumulated in the lumen diffuse into the stroma through an enzyme called ATP synthase. ATP synthase uses the potential energy of the proton gradient to combine ADP with inorganic phosphate to form ATP. In this way, the potential energy is transformed into chemical energy stored as ATP. ATP and NADPH now have stored energy from the light reactions. This energy can be used in the Calvin cycle. This light-driven electron transport chain is usually continuous in the presence of sunlight. It encompasses a series of chemical reactions that involve light absorption, energy conversion, and electron transfer carried out by the photosystems and other enzymes on the membrane of the thylakoids.